Uh, my name is Megan Kaiser, and I'm here on behalf of Bell's Brewery. Uh, thank you for letting me comment. Um, Bell's uh, does not support the proposed changes to the wastewater billing, uh, specifically changing the billing cycle to a two-year annual average fixed monthly billing. The two-year annual average billing cycle creates a business risk, disincentivizes investment in business-owned wastewater treatment, and is an obstacle to Bell's and the city of Kalamazoo's efforts to combat climate change. At Bell's Brewery, our wastewater surcharges correlate to the production volume. Therefore, costs are incurred at the similar time as revenues generated by the sale of our beers. Bell's would prefer to pay for those services rendered by the city at the time they are delivered. This change creates a potential scenario wherein Bell's is experiencing a reduced revenue, but instead of corresponding reductions in cost, Bell's continues to pay a higher wastewater surcharge that's reflected of the historical uh, utilization of the wastewater treatment plant. This creates a risk to Bell's business and that outweighs the benefits of the budgetary certainty created by the two-year annual average fixed monthly billing. Bell's second concern with the proposed billing structure is that it disincentivizes businesses from investing in on-site wastewater treatment. With delayed billing, users of uh, the POTW will not realize savings for a full two years after the process or equipment improvements. Bell's and other businesses would have to carry the fiscal overhead of a capital project for two years before recognizing the full benefit. In 2014, Bell's Brewery invested over $6 million in its own anaerobic wastewater treatment facility in order to leverage the opportunity to produce on-site renewable energy from our wastewater and reduce surcharges. The project had a forecasted return on investment of seven years and required considerable deliberation before approval. Had that payback period been extended to nine, the nature of the proposed, by the nature of the proposed billing structure, it's extremely unlikely to have been approved. And lastly, that brings us to our third and final concern regarding the billing structure uh, is climate impacts. So Bells has set a very aggressive target for reduction in our greenhouse gas emissions uh, from our operations. At Bells, our wastewater composition is suitable for anaerobic wastewater treatment. This allows us to make wastewater, sorry, this allows us to make wastewater treatment in an energy net positive process. That's to say, we make more renewable energy from that process than what the process consumes. Given the different and difficult composition of the wastewater that the city receives, it uses an aerobic process, which is extremely energy consumptive. By pre-treating our wastewater at Bell's, not only 